Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team player review. Let's take a look at one of the most interesting Premier League informs that we've had in a little while. It is the new third inform 87 rated Marco Arnautovic. That's right, the Austrian who plays his football for West Ham has got some insane stats on this newest inform. 84 pace. 88 dribbling, 86 shooting and passing, as well as 87 physical. That's ridiculous. And with that, he's six foot four with four star skills and weak foot. That's just nuts. I'm not gonna lie. Those are some very, very impressive stats. Was very much looking forward to getting him into a couple of teams today to test him out. This is the first one here, played in a bit of a hybrid squad uh, as a left winger. Um, but this is the main Prem team that I was actually playing him in. Left forward, let's get him as involved as he possibly can be. Um, um, with the likes of 92 Mo Salah and the new 84 rated Lingard up front as well. So that was what we played him in. So moving on into the in-game stats, we're obviously expecting some pretty good things. After taking a look at the on-item stats themselves and knowing that this is the third special item, uh, I am expecting quite a lot and it delivers, I'm not going to lie. In all of the important areas, I'm seeing some pretty impressive stats and then using the Hawk chemistry style today, we boost the pace, we boost the shooting and the physical and we leave him there with 88 dribbling, which, well... When you take a look at it, you can see that the agility and balance stats are actually bringing that down. So he's got great ball control and dribbling already. So I'm actually really impressed with the stats that we can come out with with our chemistry style today. So it's time to take him in game and I'm going to be able to show you all of the goals that we were able to score with this man. And of course, it leads me on to talking about positives and negatives. We'll start with those negatives first. Uh, agility and balance. I just touched on it then. They bring the dribbling stat down. By quite a bit. <laughs> He's not very agile. He's got pretty terrible balance. I'm not going to lie. He does feel somewhat clunky in game. And, and that's something that you are always going to experience with a player like this. When he's got stats like that, I genuinely see no point in trying to boost that with a chemistry style. Because, you know, plus 10 on some very, very average balance is just going to make it only ever so slightly better. So, um, let's just know that he's going to be clunky and let's boost him in other areas which can hopefully uh, eradicate that. Or just make it completely and utterly pointless. That It doesn't really matter about his agility and balance, right? So, that's what we did with the Hawk Chem style today. Um, so, yeah, you're going you're gonna to get not the most agile player in the world here. Trust me on that and I'm sure you can expect that being a six foot four man mountain uh, and then the other thing that disappointed me somewhat was that he is six foot four how come he doesn't win me anything in the air for some reason his aerial ability seemed poor for me both the jumping and general heading accuracy of it like I, I didn't really win headers I actually lost aerial battle to, battles to even some fullbacks which surprised me quite a bit i'm not gonna lie i figured he would he would be that safe player that i could whip up from a goal kick or he would be that front person from a corner it just didn't happen so uh yeah bear that in mind if you're if you're picking this player up to win a lot of aerial battles for some reason for me it just didn't work out but those are the only two real negatives that i can think of for a player like this because he, he did really well. He scored loads of goals. He got some assists as well. And he's complete and utter beast. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, you can expect that with the stats that he's got. Um, but we'll talk about the positives now. That was a beautiful rainbow flick. Weak foot volley, by the way. I love that. Best goal that I scored. Um, pace is is something that you notice. You, you don't expect to get up to such speeds with a giant. Uh, and, and that's what he is. And I think, I think with him being a bit clunky... Uh, it's so difficult for people to stop him because once he gets going and he's just on this on a tear, um, try and try and stop him by getting in his way and you're going to get knocked over, mate, because he is just, he's a beast. Uh, yeah, so the pace is great and of course, combine that with the height and the strength that he's got means that he is a very, very difficult man to stop once he gets going. Um, but taking it back a little bit, you know, he may not be agile, but... He does have a very, very nice first touch, and he moves with the ball nicely. Like, he keeps it very, very close to his feet. Uh, he dribbles with it well. He can execute the four-star skill moves and stuff, and, and that area of his game impressed me as well. So you get a little bit of you know best of both worlds i guess you could say um which is a bit odd it's a bit weird to know that you can dribble with a player and execute skill moves and stuff uh, but he's not going to necessarily do them super quick or anything like that that's what basically uh, i mean by uh, by by what i've been talking about um 
Other areas of his game that I'm impressed with are the fact that he's got good stamina. You know, this player is going to last all game long. No problem about that. And, and as the fullbacks are running up and down the pitch all game, starting to get tired, someone like Arnautovic out on the wing is going to outmuscle them, going to outpace them, going to outdo them in every, in pretty much every area. And, and I found that sort of mid to late game is where he almost came alive and really uh, turned into a crazy goal scorer for me. And then finally, everything about is shooting whether it's the power the curve the accuracy of the finesses the long shots into the top corner or the low driven shots i really found that he's got a nice cracking shot on the strong foot and the weak foot as well so let me know guys a really good price for a really good player what do you think does he make it into your starting 11 for your premier league side let me know in the comment section below thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you next time peace